we have JP. Check, check, check. Good evening, good people. My name is J.P. Reynolds. I'm a music artist. I live in Harlem, New York, from Mount Vernon, New York. Oh, somebody from Mount Vernon? Y'all just shouting out my city for me? Thank you. Man. If y'all feel good, say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If y'all feel good, say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If y'all feel real, real good, say, guava. Guava. <laughs> I love making people say guava, it's great. <laughs> guava is an acronym that stands for Groups Undercounted Arise Very Adept. What? <laughs> groups Undercounted Arise Very Adept. Guava is a call to rise. I've been called to say rise. So a lot of my music is about rising. I come from jazz, I come from hip hop, I come from soul, I come from funk, I come from gospel. I'm rooted, I've been here before. My music is about that too. Thankfully, I'm a recipient of community and divine guidance and divine wisdom from community. 
My music is about that too. I released a few albums along the way. Guavimatic Space Dream came out in 2016 and was crowdfunded. Rap Gumbo came out in 2019 and was crowdfunded. Stir Crazy came out in 2020 because we was all stir crazy. Soul Raps came out last year in 2022. I'm going to perform a song tonight called Redwoods. It's from Rap Gumbo. The reason I'm performing Redwoods tonight, I wrote it in 2018, but it feels like the thesis for my artistry. So I figured if I'm doing one song, I'm going to do that one. And y'all are here, the guava rising energy in it too. And I'm looking forward to hearing y'all's questions and kind of chopping it up. So uh, I have one thing that I ask people to do when I perform, um, one stipulation for me getting on a microphone in front of people in the room. That one stipulation, that one ask, that one request is that you go there with me. Because I'm going to go there. <laughs> so my request is that you go there with me. All right. This is Redwood. See the sky for real. I can grow up and see the sky. Redwoods, 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 redwoods. Rise with me, rise with me, rise with me. Rise with me, rise with me, rise with me. Latch on to me in the underground. Attached to the light like a thunder sound. Reaching for the ones that we lost to the heavens. Thank God every day that we still fit the presence. Planting these seeds in the dopest of soils. Gonna take some time, but it's worth it. I know it. All that luxury, so watch for the growth. We glow up together, can't go with alone. Say like I wanna take it higher. Tell me, can we take it higher? I'm feeling so stuck like my business are lies. There's nothing out there that's quite like us. If nothing else, we be survivors. If nothing else, we be the wisest. Holding each other when nobody sees it. This level of love still it arises. I be like Mayo on mics. I know why the case birds sing to the night. I know why the Ellis tell us he take advice. I know why they give us with their feet to the mice. They feel full of all that we are. Afraid we'll take root in the star. Rise with me, rise with me, rise with me. Rise with me, rise with me, rise with me. Latch on, tell me in the underground before these people unfamiliar start to come around. Reaching for the ones that I earned in the trenches. Thank God for what I learned on them benches. Breathtaking power of natural towers is in me as well. I just got to allow it. Water is in me. I speak like a fountain. Still too busy thinking I'm gonna get devoured. It's like I wanna take it higher. Tell me, can we take it higher? I'm feeling so stuck like my visions are lies. I cut myself down when I saw I'm on fire. Like I'm scared of my height. Like I think I'm a fluke. Like I don't believe that I'm here in the right time. Like what I got is moot. Yeah, I tend to shave myself. What the meaning about the chains are the chains that have fell. I'm a tap to the giant over waiting for the bell. I've logged these hours in the basin. Can you tell? I used to get anxious. But I'm here from them ancients. I've been here for ages. I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to claim it. I still could get anxious, but I'm here from them ancients. I've been here for ages. I ain't going nowhere. Redwoods, 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 redwoods. Rise with me, rise with me, rise with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rise with me, rise with me. Hey. Rise, 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 rise. Rise, 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 rise. Rise, 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 rise. See, round midnight, I think about those redwood trees. Some of the greatest, grandest, largest trees on the entire planet. The reason that they can grow so great, so grand, so tall is because they have this underground connected network of roots. They can only grow so tall because of the ones next to them, because of each other. That's the only way they can grow so tall. It would be like those redwood trees. Yeah. Feeling like redwoods, redwoods. Redwoods, redwoods. Redwoods, redwoods. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, so I guess it's the Q and A portion of the of my set. Okay, got a question right here. We got two questions. I'm gonna come right up here after. Yes. I did not produce it myself. It was produced by a, a, a cat named Yondo. Um, it's the Thelonious Monk sample. I don't know if there's jazz heads in the building. Y'all may y'all might, y'all might hit a lick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. Around midnight. Around midnight, I think about the redwood trees. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but I, I didn't produce it. I'm, um, I'm uh, as a rapper and coming from hip hop culture and tradition. We we partner with producers, and my ear leads the way. Yeah. Oh yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, so the, the the redwood tree is a fascinating tree to me. I kind of explained in the last part of the song. Um, I'm always in community. You know, the only reason I can do what I do is because of people around me. Um, so musically speaking, like I usually perform with a band. Uh, I have a four four piece band that I perform with called the Peace and Power Band. Um, and it's a conversation between us on stage. And my voice has grown, my, my writing has grown, my humanity has grown from performing with live music on the stage with other instrumentalists who are also kind of zoning out and blacking out with me there, going there. Um, and that comes from, you know, my my desire to be with a band on stage comes from my communal upbringing in the black church. I was got the you know tambourine on the microphone stand. You know what I'm saying? Calling my ancestors in, calling my traditions in. Um, and I come from the black community, right? I come from uh, from people who who've risen together on purpose, intentionally, on this plane and in planes beyond us. So um, the song musically, you know, I, I have a lot of jazz. There's a lot of soul. There's a lot of kind of poet, rapper vibes on my stuff. Um, and then, you know, so sonically, it also kind of is a root of what I'm looking to create as well. Um, pulling from, on purpose, pulling from people like Thelonious Monk. On purpose, pulling from and drawing from the well of black music um, that I come from. So that's why I would say it's the thesis of my artistry. Yeah. I feel like I saw another hand back there, right here. I have two responses for you. <laughs> one is really big and one is really small. Both are powerful and great. Um, I'll start with the small one because I've lived this dream. I've been performing in kitchens around the country um, for the last few years. I've done it in two rounds. The first round was in 2019 up until the pandemic started. And I just finished uh, a 10 a ten day kitchen sessions tour two weeks ago. So I've been performing in literally people's kitchens like all around the country, like legit around the country. So it's like a really powerful experience to perform something created in everybody's space of creation. Um, and it's like magical and it's mystical and it's deep um, and it's intimate. You know what I mean? It's like literally 15, 20 people in front of a refrigerator or a stove. <laughs> um, I turn the lights out, put some lights up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we get close. There's drink in the room. There's S there's literally tea kettles, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's kind of fire. Um, the big one is like a, an arena, you know what I'm saying? Um, my music feels, my, I think what I'm channeling these days is a, a, a wide spectrum, um, which means, you know, I feel like we can still be intimate with a lot of people in the room. And I think that's a powerful thing. The music provides us the opportunity to experience and uh, an arena would be crazy, you know, for people to hear the song and know the song and it also be kind of ing ingesting and internalizing what it is ha it, that is happening. So, yeah. This one was pretty special, too. Y'all look great. <laughs> Shout out to y'all. Yeah. Yeah.
I love performing, so I perform all of my songs all the time <laughs> uh, for the walls. And, you know, they're different every time, though, right? Like, it's a different experience. So you're right, right? At one point, it is a rehearsal process. It's like repetition and getting it in my muscle memory, um, but also at the same time being open enough to do something or receive something or, be, or experience something different every single time. Um, and then, you know, these days I have an 18-month-year-old son, or 18-month-old, not year old, 18-month-old son. <laughs> and um, he <laughs> for the Kitchen Sessions tour, I rehearsed with him in the room, right? And, you know, he's a curious individual who's not going to sit still or stand in a, in a place. So I made it a mission to, like, right, I'm going to grow through this 25-minute set for these Kitchen Sessions, and he's going to run around, he's going to stop and dance, he's going to want to get picked up, but I'm not going to stop rehearsal, <laughs> right? So, like having to feed him yams or applesauce <laughs> while I'm rehearsing has, ma has like downloaded the stuff into my body in a very particular way, <laughs> right? It's like, nah, it's gonna happen regardless of if you chasing a kid or if you stand in front of the microphone stand. Um, so he's provided a really good tool for rehearsal to like download it. Uh, and, then, and then, you know, th there's different levels too, right? So um, I'll rehearse on my own um, as a solo artist with tracks, but then again, like I have a band, so I also perform with my band and we have rehearsal, our rehearsal vibe and groove. Um, so it's a bit different with the band because that's a, you know, there's gathering people, there's something different happening in that situation, but yeah, the kid makes it different. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, it's funny, I, you know, my root is in poetry. Um, I came from spoken word tr tr tradition. I came from even, you know, written, written poem tradition. I don't necessarily write poems anymore, right? Um, I write songs now, but I'm a poet. <laughs> um, so the way I choose words, the way that I choose space on songs um, is, is poetic to me. The way I write lyrics on pages or on my phone feels poetic. Um, like with line breaks or, we talked about this earlier, line breaks, you know, um, uh, abbreviations and, and punctuation and that type of thing. So I'm a poet at heart, and mostly because I'm a words person. I care about words, um, and I want to take care of words. And at this point, though, it's mostly songs, though. Um, there's melody included. There's, there's different cadences and different just considerations. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting. That the, the thing that's interesting is, when songs or when lyrics to songs can live off of the music, right? So there's certain songs I have that I'm like, oh, I can perform that without music. Like, it feels fine to perform. Like, this feels, like, poetic enough or can live enough on its own outside of the music. Other times I'm like, and I want the music. I need the music. There's some songs now with the band. I'm like, I'm not performing a song without the live music. Like, I'm not doing this song with the track no more, right? Like, yeah. so, you know, there's different, different pockets to get in. Yeah. Uh, so I have an, uh, my, have, my, my dates are on officiallyjp.com, my, my website. I'm on Instagram as officiallyjp underscore. Uh, we have an album coming out, a live album coming out this year. Um, so join my email list to get all them updates and all, the, all those types of things. Our next show is June 20th. It's in Mount Vernon. Um, and we've got some other dates that I can't remember right now that may not be in New York, though. Uh, yeah, but we we be we be doing the thing. We be out here. We be outside. Yeah. Listen. So here's the thing. I like I just finished this kitchen sessions tour, uh, but I'm gonna bring it back probably in the fall. So you know, another reason to join my email list to see if you can become eligible to host because those joints be vibes, <laughs> uh, and I'm looking forward to doing them again. So, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that's a crazy way to start a question. <laughs> this question better be crazy. <laughs> I want to answer this right. Say it one more time. Who are we? Who are we? Uh huh. Where would we come from? Uh huh. And where are we? Okay. Um, we are. We come from the depths. 
We are going to Peace and Power Planet. We are going to Peace and Power Planet. It's also the name of the album coming out with the Peace and Power Band. <laughs> you see how I did that, did you? You see how I flipped it? Yeah, you gotta flip it. You gotta flip it. Yeah, right, yeah. I'm last question. Last question. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, so I'm prepared too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, I've been thinking about this since you, you know. Um, I have three things that I listen for. Um, Quincy Jones, legendary composer, says that uh, the ear should stay busy when listening to music. So I want to hear if my ear is busy, right? Like if my ear is moving, if something's happening in there. Uh, and then if there's, if there's vocals on a song, I listen for the vulnerability in the vocals. So that doesn't mean like right notedness, that means like like consciously spirited, right? Um, and that can that can range, right? So I was thinking about this because I was like, who am I? Who am I? I'm gonna use some examples, right? So like, I'm listening to Cleo Soul a lot right now. Um, very vulnerable, pure, like just fire voice. But I'm also listening to Polo G, who's a trap rapper, and he's a drill rapper from Chicago, and he has an incredibly vulnerable voice. Or Sabo or Smino, right? These cats who are from the Midwest who are rappers. Um, or Jacob Banks from the UK, who's a singer. So you know these 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 vocals are. I want to sit with the busy ear, but also like the vulnerability in the voice. But then also, if there's not vo vocals on the music, um, I just want to hear the conversation. I want to hear the conversation between the instruments that's happening, because everybody got something to say. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. All right.